like, bro. She got, she got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> So welcome back to another reaction. Uh, today we're gonna be reacting to these women belong to the streets. A lot of them with Crowder. Yeah, man. Um, I seen a lot of his videos, uh, especially like uh, those one sitting on colleges talking about different like political uh, political aspects. Yeah, it, um, changed my mind. Yeah, it's like um, I feel like people get a lot of like give them a lot of heat, but like. You shouldn't get mad about like people what people think. At, people get mad at the truth. For me, they get mad, and they know it's the truth. They just don't want you to talk about it like that. Cause it's like, it's come on, you make you make you make me bring out a side of me. You're making people I, feel this way. Make me bring out a side of me where I know I'm bullshitting myself and I'm lying to myself, acting like certain behaviors are okay. These women belong to the streets. I don't know. It's just funny seeing him use that word. That I line. can't see that come out. Of, uh, is he gonna say it? I'm pretty sure. You came up. You, you said that first. Was it future? They belong to the streets. I, I think. It's a cold world we live in. I don't know. Sensation. The whole phase. I'm just living. I'm young. I have time to f around and. And be dirty. You know, I didn't, didn't want to wait till they're like 30, 40 years old to want to settle down. I was like, man. No. You're not even guaranteed to have kids at this point. Like, why, why, why don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, man? Why are you going to wait? It's not waste funny, but like. No, it's hilarious. You it's... wait, you sat there and hold your whole. Pussy away, you want me to what climb through this crevice? It's like it's like um pussy be so loose as I feel like one of them black, see, you black see niggas in there. Like one of them Viet Cong niggas just crawling through spaces and shit. I don't know man. That's wild. I think it's, I feel like that behavior is fueled by social media and people feel like they can just live their best life and then they can just move on. It's like no. A lot of people say feminism. Toxic feminism? They'll talk about toxic masculinity, but it's like I don't know, man. But we're going to see what a lot of the crowd has to say. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. That gun. Tank <laughs> My little ass gun. Let's hop right in. Let's watch this uh, first really quickly. There was a group of women on a podcast. This has been making the rounds. Uh, and I guess the host, I, I'm not familiar with it, but the host kind of you know, called them the task and they didn't know what to do with it. They're proclaiming what a wonderful thing it is uh, oh, for women in their 20s to not be in relationships. Oh, and they use these broad terms like explore oh, themselves. Anyway, just see how this goes down. Two guns. Yeah, like why well, take someone seriously when it comes to not taking me seriously yeah, at like all. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because yeah. we're all like in our early 20s. Like this yes. is the time yes. to so, like explore and find yourself. When you say explore and find yourself, does that mean just like get run through by a bunch of dudes? Just, no. I, I, I just oh, want well, to the correct answer is yes, that's what they meant. <laughs> or girls. Yeah. Yes. Here's the thing. You know, we're in our twenties. Yeah, you know you know the World War II was won by women in their twenties. Like that was a big part of you know the war effort. Yeah. Like back in the day, women in their twenties were working, they had children, they had established families, they had a home. And now that you say that's the deck is stacked against you, so you can't you, you, you can't do it. It's completely untrue. You don't have to in your 20s have a bunch of meaningless relationships and one night stands. Yeah. If you want to, fine. Just don't espouse it to other girls, although that's the norm. They play baseball with Rosie O'Donnell? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did that too. Yes. Until their window closes. That's yeah. the problem. There's no ovulating in baseball! No. <laughs> Is she paying that long? Oh, no. Here's a, women, look. Here's, and, and we'll get to Megan Kelly in a second. Now she's taking flack because of what she said about the Kardashians. Same kind, it's this vanity. Yeah. Look. It is true. It is there is a double standard. Just to be clear, there is a double, and it's not that we're setting it. Biology is setting the standard. Men don't have that kind of a window. Men can have kids well into their, gosh, Abraham. I mean, you go like it probably into your nineties. I don't know, but I'm sure it can be done. Yeah, I mean, you need assistance. <laughs> but uh, you do have a certain window. And if you're saying, "Oh, I'm going to waste my twenties," and women often get into their thirties and they go, "Oh, oh, oh," they end up settling. Sure. <laughs> See, I'm not going to settle for anything less than perfect when you're in your twenties, and then you end up settling for a trash bag in your thirties because now you're up <laughs> against the clock. And I'm not saying just to be clear, people use this term "slut shaming" all the time. No, look, that's not. I'm not slut shaming anybody. Okay. That being said, look, can we all acknowledge that not most women are poor? Okay, let's be clear about it. not. Not probably not even a plurality, okay? But some are. <laughs> and 
that's a bad idea. Are we not allowed to say that some are at this point? Like, oh, if you're just going on your and you're going into it with the mindset of I am going to sleep around. I this because it's my twenties. Some women are, and we'd yeah. like to thank your dad. Yes, oh, Jesus. <laughs> By that we mean stepdad. Yeah, and strict parents. No, I mean, and second like, stepdad. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, in the thirties. <laughs> so, the one that didn't go to jail. Yeah. All right. And the guy who kissed you at the PTA meeting. <laughs> what, what, what? Why don't you just find guys that are serious about you? Don't don't settle for the guys that obviously aren't taking you seriously. By the way, if you want to be taken yeah, seriously, be somebody that can be taken seriously yeah. as yeah. well. You didn't quite look it's like that. Base, young, I get it. It's this baseline. It's this baseline of, oh, we're in our 20s, so this is what we do. Something happens in college. You know, I was in college, so I, uh, you know, was getting ripped all the time. Look, I, I, I drink. I'm not someone who, I don't drink a lot. I have no problem with people who drink. I have no problem with people who uh, do these things responsibly. But to say, well, the baseline is if you're in college, it's four, four years of glorified alcoholism. It doesn't have to be that way. Right. And this is perpetuated by, of course, the entertainment industry saying, yeah. well, this is what women should do in your 20s. This is what me- this is what you should do in college. No, no, no. You can make good decisions at any point in your life. <laughs> and they're so dumbfounded. Like, is that like, no, that's not what we mean. Well, what do you mean? I mean, you know, have a bunch of relationships and sleep with a lot of guys. Okay, here's the issue. And I will say it is a double standard. When people say, why am I slut if I do this and men aren't? Okay, that is true. Here's why. You're the gatekeeper. You can, s- women should say no. And men should, of course, respect no, to be clear. But. Your set point, women, you control access to sex, right? Because your natural set point is no, I don't know, prove your worth. A man's natural set point is please. So you are the rate limiting factor. <laughs> Take advantage of it. We've tried to empower women by stripping them of something with which they're powerful. The ability to, to pick a suitor. You've given it away. Yeah, you have, uh, <laughs> you have value. Yes. Give it away. You, know? like, you have uh, inherent value. Yeah, that you can use. Like if I ever hit rock bottom, I just can't. Go out and sell myself. No, you can't. No. Well, you well, can. Made... It's just going to be to other men. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Conjugal <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> and that being said, Dave, just so you know, you know how big of a heart this guy has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does the conjugal visits just to put a smile on their face. I do. It is. I do. And they grin <laughs> ear to ear. Yeah, Dave, Dave goes down to these hurricane-stricken areas, and he's like, guys, I'm open season. I know yeah. it's a tough time. Come on. <laughs> yes. My mouth is a hurricane. It's his version of US. <laughs> it's I, just, it's I, just I, FEMA and him and titty test. I please them with the tornado. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what they call it, huh? It's an F5. Yes. Uh, oh, it's more what? like an F1. So this ties, okay. ties in the, Do we have it? Megan Kelly. Megan Kelly is catching flack right now. And I, for wherever you line up, if you agree with Megan Kelly or not. <laughs> it's like a penis. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, there's a rocket going on. I know. We're all children. Guys, I'm hey, okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm does, not. That does that. So Megan Kelly is catching flack for what she said. And people are mislabeling this, just saying she just called the Kardashians evil. That's actually not what she said. And I think she had a pretty good point. And I think that she actually couched it pretty effectively. Of course, Kardashians sell with a hoe behavior, nigga. That's how they literally get famous. Her daughter, her mom pimped out her daughter. For real? She made Ray J and Kim sign like this, uh, this like agreement deal to like to sell to, to perpetuate the, the tape out there to get her name. I didn't know that. I don't know. That whole family's weird. That's why people was like, "Oh, Kanye's crazy." You know, Kanye don't want his children growing up in an atmosphere where they feel like they have to sell their bodies in order to be anything in life. You know. They're being like they're, they were trying to get, like they were trying to put his kids on Playboy magazines. For real, dressing like these tight, like little tight, skimpy little rabbit thing with the like. What the f- this is this baby, bro? Like, yeah. What are you talking about? And Nick Kanye's not dumb. I mean, like I, I honestly feel like it's just like a lack of morality all around nowadays. It's like people just think they can just you can do whatever you want, but it's like. Where's the self control? Where's the, the respect for yourself to be like, I'm worth this much. I'm not gonna just let anyone get into this. It's just like 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 you're like this certain amount of money. <laughs> like, like 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 this is a palace, man. Like like like, I, like we can create life together. It shouldn't just be like, oh, it's for you know, for fun and f sakes, you know. Then like for uh, ten years I can just have fun. It's not even just for like honestly, like even as a man, like I don't think you should just be out trying to hoe and have like this, and coming to people if you don't have an underlying basis and foundation in your life. Like how, like what, what exactly are you able to provide, sir? Cause, I mean, that's what they look at us for as providers. I mean, sir, if you're not really able to provide, we out here just home around for it. You know what I mean? But for for the thing you said uh, about um, it's different for men and women. It's like it's not different as in like a wrong aspect. It's different as in like like you said, like you're the gatekeepers. And it's like like that morality you were saying. It's like you're able to say no. 
but it's just like it's not what they want to do because it's like it's been pushed but like oh you're you're supposed to have fun you're supposed to have freedom you're supposed to be a city girl you're supposed to have oh lord man I'm telling you're you social toxic, media toxic baby daddy oh <laughs> uh, toxic baby daddy and shit. like I don't know man social media is just like imprinting your minds with like this dang this reality like oh I'll be happy this way but then you're gonna reach a certain age you're gonna see your friends who actually took themselves seriously took their their minds, their bodies, their careers, seriously. Now they have families, kids, a husband, a household. And you're just a chick with the with the Louis Vuitton bag and the, the, the boots that go up to your knees. Like, oh, you're, it's just like, yeah, <laughs> you're pretty, but it's like, for how much longer? You got about a good more, you got about five more years. Not even. You got about depending, 10. Depending if you get the good, get the good. You got about 30 more periods before you're just not able to do that. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm playing, though. I'm playing. I'm <laughs> And I think that a lot of women would do well to listen to it. And by the way, men, you would do well to look for a woman who uh, expresses these kinds of sentiments and values. It's just opinion. Let's roll Megan Kelly. Um, what I object to, uh, back on the Kardashians, is the unrivaled vanity. Like mm. the self-promotional, out-of-control focus on one's self, ego, clicks, likes, they're hugely responsible for that in our society. They didn't do it by themselves, but more than any other, they've had a terrible effect in that lane. And I do blame them. I do. I asked them, I interviewed them and I said, are you a force for good or are you a force for evil? And they gave me their answer. But the more I've watched them over the years, the more I think net net it's evil. I don't think this is healthy. And that's what I object to is like they're disgusting vanity which has spread like wildfire in our society the the selfie culture is abhorrent to me i think that's what i'm responding to as opposed to some titillation from a beautiful woman here and there and she was talking about how there were some spreads where there were some new spreads you know in an appropriate venue how she doesn't have a problem with that look i agree with what you said and people get really they get really up in arms when you use the term evil why because that means you're making a moral judgment yeah. we're not allowed to do that anymore and if you say well hold on you shouldn't say that slut shaming no, I was evil. Well, what are you saying? I'm no, no. Look, look. You, you serve a master. We need to acknowledge this. And people who are serving ultimately evil can do good things, and people who are trying to do good can do evil things. That is true. But if you are not serving good, if you are not pursuing good, ultimately you are at the very least a valuable tool in the service of evil. And you have to ask. Do you think it's a good thing for a young woman to say, hey, I could go to school, I could become a nurse, I could go to school, I could become an engineer, or I can have sex with a DJ and sell it for millions of dollars. It's the vanity. It's the self-worship. A lot of people think idolatry is a golden calf. Look, no. It's like people idolize themselves. Players. It's self-worship. You've created yourself as your own idol. doesn't mean that you can't be beautiful. doesn't mean that you shouldn't understand, like we just said, your worth, your value. But that shouldn't be... The value that supersedes everything else in your life. And we really have placed uh, an unbelievable premium on, on vanity. And unfortunately, it is. It's a path. Right now, it's the, the easiest path to success for a lot of young women. You see it all the time. I mean, young women like, only fans, it wasn't an option, just only fans. Right. That's not healthy. I just no. can't believe somebody insulted a Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> Step that on a limb. But she's catching flack for it, not because yeah. people hate the Kardashians, but they hate the moral judgment more. And how dare you say, that? look, it's her opinion. I think she's right. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Is it, is it the, really a chicken or the egg thing, though? I mean, you have to look at reality television came yeah. before them. I mean, OJ, as a result, they were spawned off of that. They are making money by whatever you want to call the influencing, whatever it is. There's so much of that in our culture that I wouldn't just blame them. Like, I wouldn't be able to call them evil and not just say it's kind of part of the entire Internet wave that we've created as a culture. But she didn't call them evil. That's like she no, didn't say you're saying, evil. She's saying the, the culture of it can be. She's saying, yes, are you a force for evil? In other words, people may not realize it. She's not saying you're an evil person, but right. ultimately it's an evil force. Look, young women are unhappy and young men don't want to get married. Yeah. You can argue to you're blue in the face that what we're saying is wrong and it's offensive, but it's like, that's just a fact. Women are less happy than ever in modern American history and young, fewer men than ever want to get married. I mean, that's, that's why you think you look at these people from like past generations would be like, how do they, how do they be married for 45, 50 plus years? You know, could they, before they even met each other, they, they were coming from backgrounds of moral understanding, moral self-respect. They didn't see everybody on social media and they didn't have these like wild, like, like I've been hearing a lot of like people don't, people didn't see that many like different, like pretty people. 
or different. You didn't see that many people at all. Yeah, at all. Yeah, you, you, you just see many options. Whole, yeah, it's you just got like, so many options now. Well, when like, you think like, oh, I can get that. I'm like, I, I can't stay here. I could just, I could just go to that and then that. Yeah, like this can end. I'll just move on to the next person. It's like no, you're gonna move on to the next person. Now, now you're just gonna. You're gonna be stuck. It's not always the case, but it's like if you're not actually taking the time to like self heal and like understand like why the last one didn't work. It's just like, well, I don't need to really work on anything. Cause maybe it was just what they did, and just like no. It's, it's all it's all comes full circle that's why i think so I, that's why i try to stay off social media as much as possible but in, even if i want to stay off social media and everyone else around me is going to be off of it and just like i really just feel like it's poison in the minds it's, of this is already in grand this is already in grand yeah but, See, but what did he say what did he say before that or after that what um like the overall vanity the promotion of self ego and just like how you're not, you're not you may not necessarily feel like you're evil but those type of oh yeah 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 I was saying like um especially like with the Brittany Renner situation like with the basketball players it's like like people like go out and look for like basketball players to just get pregnant or entertainers to just get pregnant and like uh Le leech off them yeah and, like get a baby off them I'm like that's not that's that's the way that's, that's morally wrong. If you're if that's your way you're going about your life, bro. People I can't attacking know. Drake for putting hot sauce in the condom. I'm like, what are you what are you doing in the gar fishing in the garbage? Yeah, we fish the garbage for, for a, a condom. Get a, get a, get a baby by Drake, and they like, I'm like no. Like, how you even want to raise that kid? You gonna raise that kid to have when he's like with real about? I mean, he gonna grow up and hate you and hate his dad. He's gonna like you're gonna raise him to be a meal ticket. Oh, it's scary out here, guys. I really, really, I think it's. It's gonna take a lot of self reflection and discipline. That's what people are lacking nowadays. Just like they just do. It's hard because like um, yeah. You know, I mean, we're in a we're in a different we're like we're in a different we're like oh. in a comfortable. Everything's given to you. Everything's everything's accessible. Like I said, so many options. You can just do whatever. Really. Yep, that's true. So people know. just get overwhelmed and like they just do what they want. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this was interesting. Uh, let us know if you want to see more of these kind of videos. We can react to some more. Uh, Lauder with Crowder. Just let us know down in the comments. Hit, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you go check out our other channels, 412 Show and LBB Gaming. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.